Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Wow, it is day 21. We're so close to the finish line. Today we have tilapia from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Color inspirations, we've got grays, we've got some muted violets and some pinks happening, some blues. So I'm gonna put this up here so I can reference it. And I'm feeling like I'm just gonna, I don't know, I kind of wanted to draw half a body, full body, I'm not sure. Pulled out my vintage pastels from Prima Marketing Inc. slash Art Philosophy. It says Prima Marketing there. I, whatever. Anyway, I thought these vintage -y colors would look really nice for a nice portrait. And I think, well, I can actually spray those and get them activated. And they can just chill there for a bit. I originally was gonna do some like vintagey retro looking thing, but I don't I don't wanna look up a photo. I'm that lazy. So I'm gonna pull out a micro pen and a brush pen. What else have we got? Brush one. Is this the one I use all the time? Yeah, maybe I don't wanna use the super brush. I think I wanna give her black hair though. That's what I'm feeling for today. Which I think this one. Wow, that'll be good for filling in the hair. So I'm gonna do a little sketching with the micro one pen and see what I come up with. Hopefully it's something good. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we can try and work with that. I messed up the face a little bit, but that's all right. Done with the micro sketching. Ooh, let me check my stamps. I'm gonna just see if I have a little, I marked a little spot in her hair. Like maybe that can go there. All right, put that aside. Grab some ink. Where's just my black ink? All right. Let's just put this down real quick. Put ink everywhere except on the stamp. Do a little test run. Mm -hmm. Nice and inky. All right. Get off any excess. Put my squid ink away. That was a Jane Davenport stamp, by the way. All right, grab a pen start doing some detailing. And she has ribbons all through her hair, but I'm gonna use this big black beauty. I'm not entirely sure if I wanna fill her hair in black or if I want to do it with watercolors. Hmm. Give her a nice big thick black outline, why not? Our neighbor's dogs are going crazy outside. A couple of black strands of hair just blowing loosely. Make it so her hair doesn't look like it's a giant clump. I think I am gonna come in with the big black, big black brush. And I think I'm just gonna fill it in. All right. Grab this. Kind of work on little bits of hair. I'm gonna let this dry because that was a lot of ink. And uh, then we'll start with the watercolors. Okay, well, hopefully that was long enough because I'm an impatient person and whatever. If it bleeds, it bleeds. I mean, it's watercolors. It's supposed to be that way. So let's come up with a skin tone. Let's see, our little fishy dude is mostly gray. So 
So we'll give her a bit of a gray skin tone. Crush fingers. Let's grab some pinks. That first layer dried really quickly, so when I added the pink, it Kind of pulled it up and made it watery and not as pretty as I would have liked, but we are gonna work with it. I'm gonna re-wet these. I feel like they're just drying out really quickly and it's kind of bugging me. Since they're pastel, they have a lot of white in them, which covers up the black lines. So I might have to go over a few of those later. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling about it. I feel like I'm fine with the watercolors today. not loving these watercolors right now. They're going on very opaque, so I'm just giving into it. Maybe it'll sink in, maybe it won't. I'll uh, deal with that later. Let's add a little, little greenish blue to whatever. I don't really know what color this is supposed to be, so we're gonna make it up. All right, let's do a little purpley blue for shading in her eyes. And her mouth. And this little pearl possible thingy, whatever that is. All right, I'm gonna give this a thorough dry and then figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. I think I'm done with the watercolors because they're kind of bugging me. So I'm gonna probably pull out some colored pencils. Not good on black line work, good on their own though. Let me dry this real quick. All right, those seem to lay down a lot more like gouache than watercolor. And I mean, it's kind of to be expected just because it had all the, I mean, they're pastels, so they do have a lot of like a white whatever in them. But I'm going to try and fix this as best I can. I'm just doing a really strong pink at the tips because that thing has like really strong pinkish purpley things at the tips of its fins. So this is an easy way to incorporate that into it. And then just tone it down ever so slightly. And I'll just keep those out just in case. Um, I do you have some paint pens which I could use to, for like ribbons and stuff in her hair? Maybe we'll come back to that. Um, she's got a lot more muted, muted tones, like a rosy beige. Let's see how this is gonna look. How does this look over here actually? Yeah, that looks like her skin tone. And then I'm gonna take in this pink, blush, pink and rosy beige. I 
because I didn't like the way those watercolors were laying down. Kind of felt like they were just lifting right away. So I didn't want to do too much shading with them. Get the white and whatever color this is. Grade lavender. All right. This might be good for shading. Who knew this was gonna pretty much turn into a colored pencil piece? Not this guy. Deco. Nope, it's just light peach. Something with not as much pigment in it as that pink. Yeah, that'll work. Need to sharpen a few pencils. All right. I should probably sharpen the white too. All right, Tilapia, you're really coming along. What color should I make her eyes? But a vibrant, bright ass pink. Yeah, doesn't really show up much anyway. Hmm, what else can we do with her? Let's put these aside and get the paint pen. Just add a little scratchy highlight into that. And then, where is the super brush? Come back in, add a little detail. Just going back over some of the line work because I lost a lot of it with the colored pencils and the watercolor. And I don't have to go over all of them. And I'm using the brush one because I don't want to ruin the nibs. Like I don't want them, I don't want the nibs to get clogged with like the watercolor or the waxy colored pencils. Now I don't like the way the hair scratchies look. I like the white in the hair. Didn't quite come out the way I imagined. So I may just paint over those but I will do so with a big brush. And it's mostly just these ones that I don't like. Well, I guess I don't like any of them. Also, I should clean up these ribbons. All right, clean it up just enough to make it look cleaner. And bring this in. I was going to draw some kind of netting on her hair, but I think I might just mess it up. Well, all right, you guys. I think she's done. Little Miss Tilapia. Very neutral. I think the vintage palette was really nice for her, but it would be, it would have been better if I didn't do the black inks just because it covered them up, but it was really not a big deal going back over those black parts to make them stand out a little better. But there she is. Little Miss Tilapia. I hope you guys had a good time. Stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, I will see you tomorrow with another mermaid.
We're getting there, guys. We're almost done. Take care. Bye-bye.